Hello students, how are you all? So since you all have been preparing for your CUT exams, it's been months we have been preparing together. So I want to ask you all, first of all, how are you feeling right now? Because not many days are left for the exam and you all might be feeling nervous and will be feeling stressed whether you will be make out through this exam or not. But I'm sure that since you all have been preparing a lot, you all have been watching our previous year question videos, you are already familiar with the pattern in which the questions will be there. You know the important topic. So why not you will be able to excel in the exam? It will be for sure. So we are back again with part 15 of this series in which we discuss previous year questions which were asked in 2023 paper. I'm Divyanshu Gupta, your mentor for food science and technology. Straight away going to the first question we have. Hydrogen swell is a type of spoilage found in canned foods caused by the action of food with the iron of the can. So yes, it is right. Then it is mostly seen in foods with pH ranging between 5.3 and 4.5. No, it is wrong. So both statement one and two are correct. No, both statement one and two are incorrect. No, statement one is correct, but statement two is incorrect. So third is the right answer for this question. So I hope you understood this question. It was a straight away slightly easy question. Then coming on to the next question we have. The bright green color of the green leafy vegetables turn into olive brown during the cooking process. This you all obviously have been observed that like whenever you will cook some green leafy vegetables like spinach or anything else, then you will find that after cooking, it will be turning into some olive brown color, some brownish shades, some dark green shades. So this is due to the formation of which of the following compounds. So pheophytin is formed in those green leafy vegetables, which turns the green color into olive brown color. So first is the right answer for this question. Coming to the next, we have identify the concentration of sodium benzoate, which is added in preserved fruit juice. So for sodium benzoate is ideally one of the primary uh, your preservatives, which is being used in your uh, fruit juice. So 0.1 percent is usually used to add in fruit juice. So second is the answer for this question. Coming to the next question we have, arrange five out of seven HACCP principles in the correct sequence. So you have to arrange your HACCP steps in the correct order. So first of all is your determination of critical control points. Then is your conducting of your hazard analysis. Then establishment of your monitoring procedures. Then comes your established corrective action procedures and then comes your record keeping. So if we see First of all, it was your conduct hazard, hazard analysis. So if we mark as first and your last was documentation procedures. So it was last. So if you see that D should be the first. So that means these two can be the probable answers and A can be the last. So it is the only answer. Straight away you can mark like this also that third is the right answer for this question. So I hope it was understood and uh, many times I have told you that you should not skip HACCP because it is one of the primary topic from which questions can be asked. Then we have arrange the steps of canning of foods in the appropriate sequence. That means you have to arrange the steps of canning. So processing and cooling will be the final most steps. So we can straight away mark it as fifth. Then selection of raw material. This is first washing and peeling. This is second. Then blanching and filling. This is third. Then exhausting and capping. It is fourth. Then we should see first should be B. So B is first in all of the above. Then fifth should be the uh, A should be the last. So it is in these two. Then fourth we'll see fourth is E. Then uh, third should be your D. So this option is the right answer for this question. That means third is the right answer for this question. So in this manner you should select which is the right option for a particular question. You should never see okay this is there, this is there, this is there. Not like that. Be very wise when you're selecting answers because you have 0 0.25 as a negative marking also. So be very well aware about that. So don't do many wrong questions because that will be uh, at a loss to you only. Then we have another assertion reason based question. Quick freezing is carried out at a temperature of minus 17.8 degrees Celsius to minus 46.6 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Yes, right. It does not damage the food structure. So as I've told, the faster the freezing, the less damage. The slower the freezing, the more damage. 
quick freezing results in the formation of smaller ice crystals which will not break down the cell wall this is right so both assertion and reason are right and the reason is correctly explaining the assertion so that means first is the answer for this question i hope you understood this question then next we have which of the following is a reason for testing of food quality why do we test food before getting it uh, circulated in the market to promote the sale of unsafe food no not at all it is completely opposite of what we study in food safety then to devise marketing strategy for unsafe food no then to hide the bad qualities of the food that is what is done in adulteration then to determine the safety of food for consumption yes this is right so fourth is the right answer for this question then we have microorganisms cannot be detected in a food sample by which of the following method or technique so they are this question is actually from food microbiology so spc is your standard plate count method then mpn is most probable number method and tcr is polymerase chain reaction so these three are usually used to determine standard plate count can be used for any of your solid or liquid foods mpn method is usually used for your water and polymerase chain, chain, chain reaction can be used in any of your food materials but pv is not used so this is the answer for this question so here we come at the end of our video and uh, in this we covered the next eight questions which were asked in 2023 paper i hope you understood all the question in case you have doubt in any of the question you may comment down your queries we'll be very happy to clarify all your doubts and if in case you want to join our crash course you may contact on the number given on the screen they'll be very happy to uh, clarify your all the procedures regarding the joining of the course and in that we are having revision classes and we are covering the syllabus day by day as soon as we pro uh, proceed on to the exam so we'll be very uh, very soon we'll be having some doubt sessions in that also you can clarify all your doubts and if in case you want uh, explanation of a particular topic then also you can comment down on that we'll surely make a video on that then stay connected to part 16 this was divanshu gupta and all the best for your exam stay connected for further videos